Bank of Canada Governor Tim Macklem is speaking right now. Let's listen in. Laissez-moi vous donner un peu de contexte et vous parler des implications pour le politique monétaire. Uh-oh. Little problem. I'm missing a page. <laughs> Merci. Thank you. Okay. Je vais reculer un peu. Laissez-moi vous donner un peu de contexte. Let me give you some economic context for these considerations and talk about the implications for monetary policy. Global growth has slowed, but not quite as much as we thought it would, largely because of the surprising resilience of the U.S. economy. Inflation is easing in most major economies, but it remains too high and is not expected to reach central bank's targets until 2025. In Canada, economic growth stalled in the middle of 2023. For many Canadians, the combination of higher prices and higher interest rates has been difficult. But past interest rate increases have helped the economy rebalance, and this is relieving price pressures. Lower energy prices and improvements in global supply chains have also helped to bring inflation down. Growth is expected to remain flat in the near term. With weak demand in the economy, upward pressure on prices should continue to moderate, and inflation is expected to ease further. The share of CPI components that are rising faster than 3% has declined substantially and should continue to normalize. But tightness in some parts of the economy is continuing to hold inflation up. The most prominent of these is housing. Inflation in shelter services remains high, close to 7%, because of rising mortgage interest costs, higher rents, and other housing costs. And while food prices are not increasing as fast as they were, food price inflation is still about 5%. Finally, inflation in services excluding shelter has improved, but there are signs that price pressures remain. All this push and pull on inflation means that further declines in inflation are likely to be gradual and uneven. That suggests the path, path back to 2% inflation will be slow and risks remain. Overall, our outlook for growth and inflation is largely unchanged from the October report. Economic growth is expected to be modest in 2024, weak in the first half before picking up around the middle of the year and rising to about 2.5% next year. With downward and upward forces largely offsetting in the near term, CPI inflation is expected to remain close to 3% over the first half of this year. It is then expected to ease to about 2.5% by the end of the year and return to the target in 2025. In two weeks, we will release our summary of deliberations, which provides more detail about our monetary policy discussions. But let me give you a sense of that discussion. As always, Governing Council was focused on the decision at hand, the current policy rate. And there was a clear consensus to maintain our policy rate at 5%. We did, of course, discuss where we see the economy and inflation going, and what that could mean for monetary policy going forward. What came through in the deliberations is that Governing Council's discussions about future policy is shifting from whether monetary policy is restricted enough to how long to maintain the current restrictive stance. That doesn't mean we've ruled out further policy rate increases. If new developments push inflation higher, we may still need to raise rates. But what it does mean is that if the economy evolves broadly in line with the projection we published today, I expect future discussions will be about how long we maintain the policy rate at 5%. Governing Council is concerned about the persistence of underlying inflation. We want to see inflationary pressures continue to ease and clear downward momentum in underlying inflation. 
Si la situation change et que l'inflation repart à la hausse, on pourrait devoir... Things move, then we may have to have the rates go up. But if the economy evolves broadly in line with the projection we published today. We've been listening to Bank of Canada Governor Tiff Macklem speaking on the, uh, the recent uh, interest rate announcement, holding steady at 5%.